वेलकम टू दी थर्टीन सेशन ऑफ साइबर ऑफेंसेस एंड साइबर क्राइम्स इन टूडे सेशन वी विल स्टडी मोबाइल एंड वायरलेस डिवाइसेस एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोबाइल कंप्यूटर्स इन दिस मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड द राइजिंग इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैजेट्स दैट इज मोबाइल हैंड हेल्ड डिवाइसेस which became an integral part of business providing connectivity with the internet outside the office that brings many challenges to secure these devices from being a victim of cyber crime in the recent years the use of laptops personal digital assistants and mobile phones has grown from limited user communities to widespread desktop replacement and broad deployment smartphones combine the best aspects of mobile and wireless technology and blend them to a useful business tool now we will see proliferation of mobile and wireless devices that is growth of mobile and wireless devices in today's world more advanced features are being made for mobile devices the trend is for smaller devices and more processing power a few year ago the choice was between a wireless phone and a simple handheld devices now the buyers have a choice between high end pdas with integrated wireless modems and small phones with wireless web browsing capabilities a long list of option is available to the mobile users a simple handheld mobile device provide enough computing power to run small applications play games and music and make voice calls a key driver for the growth of mobile technology is the rapid growth of business solutions into handheld device the term mobile device includes many products many types of mobile computers have been introduced since 1990s they are the first one is portable computer it is a general purpose computer that can be easily moved from one place to another but cannot be used while in traveling usually because it requires some setting and an ac power source next one is tablet pc here keyboard is not attached to the tablet pc it's look like a slate or a paper notebook and has features of a touch screen with a writing ability and handwriting recognition software tablets may not be best suited for application requiring a physical keyboard for typing but otherwise capable of carrying out most tasks that an ordinary laptop would be able to perform next one is internet tablet it is the internet appliance in tablet form unlike a tablet pc the internet tablet does not have much computing power and its application suit is limited also it cannot replace 
a general purpose computer the internet tablet typically features an mp3 player and video player a web browser a chart application and a picture viewer next one is personal digital assistant that is pda it is a small usually pocket sized computer with limited functionality it is intended to supplement and synchronize with a desktop computer giving access to contacts address book notes email and other features fifth one ultra mobile pc it is a full featured pda size computer running a general purpose operating system sixth one smartphone it is a pda with an integrated cell phone functionality current smartphones have a wide range of features and installable applications next seventh one car putter it is a computing device installed in a car it operates as a wireless computer sound system global positioning system that is gps and dvd player it also contains a word processing software and is bluetooth compatible eighth one fly fusion pen top computer it is a computing device with the size and shape of a pen it functions as a writing tool mp3 player language translator digital storage device and calculator wireless refers to the method of transferring information between a computing device and a data source without a physical connection not all wireless communication technologies are mobile for example lasers are used in wireless data transfer between buildings but cannot be used in mobile communication at this time mobile simply describes a computing device that is not restricted to a desktop as more personal devices find their way into the enterprise corporations are realizing cyber security threats that come along with a benefit achieved with mobile solutions mobile computing does not necessarily require wireless communication in fact it may not require communication among device at all that's it for today's session in next session we will study trends in mobility